hey guys and welcome back to my channel fabulous Bree here and i am back with another video and this time i am recreating my infamous two bun look that was basically the face of the world's natural hair show or world's natural hair kind of like Bonner brothers Bonner brothers um the story behind that is just so crazy on how it just went down you guys like oh my god i'm not going to talk about it in this video because it's some things that's still trying to get worked out or whatever for that whole situation i don't know how it's gonna end but um yeah just know that it was just a little bit of a messy situation behind that whole um natural hair show like how they came across my picture and how they were able to get my picture to use it when i tell you guys i was on everything i was on shirts i was on bags someone told me i was on the side of a bus someone told me it was a billboard someone told me like um they saw a commercial i'm just like what are you serious and like it's just so crazy to me how big this situation was and how it could have helped me. You know what I'm saying? It could have like plateaued me into like a bigger realm or whatever for Fabulous Brie. But you know, everything happens for a reason. So I feel like it's, it's going to be a bigger blessing behind this. The Lord is going to definitely bless me with a better opportunity in a great opportunity to where i can be more hands-on so i can know what's really going on or whatever so if you are interested in seeing how this whole look came together then definitely continue watching this video for me okay so we're gonna start off by parting our hair into two sections which is really easy to do um i like to use a rat tail comb or however you guys say i know from where i'm from we call it a rat tail comb <laughs> and i like to use the metal one because it's, it's really skinny and i feel like it gives you like a precise part so what i like to do is just kind of place it in the middle of my face as much as i can and then glide it back to create that middle part and your part doesn't have to be just parted down the middle like perfectly just as long as it's down the middle of your head i feel like it'll be okay because i remember with the photo shoot i didn't even have a comb to part my hair i just pretty much used my nails <laughs> to part my hair down the middle and my part was not perfect at all but now that i have a comb we're gonna try to get that part as straight as possible and i can't even see the back of my head so i feel like the back of my head the part is gonna look very jagged <laughs> But that's all good. And we're just going to take one side and just kind of put it up for the moment. Just so we can focus on the other side. So we're just going to put that up like that. Alright, so. Oh, hold on. Let me grab my brush. We have a soft bristle brush. And now. Whoops. I got so much stuff on my desk, y'all. I need to clean it up. But. <laughs> so now I'm just going to pull this side up into like a high ponytail in a way you know and don't be alarmed i'm not naked i have on the tube top i know it may look like i'm naked but i'm just trying to give the illusion of the picture <laughs> but um i'm just going to do a high ponytail and just kind of tease it well not even tease it but just pull it so we can get those curls out and then i'm going to take my soft soft bristle brush and just kind of brush out my edges my, of my hair my baby hair or whatever however you want to say it just so that doesn't get um pulled in with the ponytail and then i'm just going to also take it and just kind of brush the hair back as well and then i'm just going to take a scrunchie and put this in a ponytail okay so this is hard y'all i hope i'm getting like a good view of it my camera is kind of set up weird so all right so now that we have this side pulled up i know i'm looking crazy right now but this is the process of doing the two bun look so now i'm just going to take the hair and pretty much wrap it around it's like you're going to create like a bun you know well it is creating the bun so you're just going to pretty much wrap it around wrap it around and now i'm just going to take a bobby pin and pin that in place 
And then I'm just going to kind of pull it. We're gonna put like some more bobby pins around it too. Just put as many bobby pins as you feel just to keep it in place and just to make it taller, you know? <laughs> This is exactly how I did it. I just pretty much pulled, I was pulling on it and squeezing it. And it was like making it bigger and making it taller. That's one side down. Now we have to get to the other side. And don't worry, I like to do my edges last because we're gonna do go into our makeup. So hold on one second. So now that we got this side together, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I'm probably going to speed it up because I'm practically doing the same thing. So if you wanna hear me talk about it, then just rewind the video but here I'm just going to give you a visual on how I did it so All right, so that is pretty much how I did my two buns. So like I stated, it was very, very simple. This is probably going to be the most easiest hairstyle that you will ever do. But all in all, you're just gonna create two ponytails and then you're gonna create two buns and how I make them stand out big and tall is what you wanna do after you wrap it around and pin it in place. All you're gonna do is just squeeze it and you will see how it'll start to like stretch and get bigger. But that's basically what I did. I got a piece of a curl that doesn't want to cooperate. It probably don't look exactly like the picture because I did this look so long ago. So I haven't really been doing this hairstyle at all. Um, but yeah, and I just pretty much just kind of brushed down my baby hairs with my fingers in the back just to kind of have that sticking out. And then like I stated, I will lay down my edges once we're done doing the makeup portion. Okay, now to makeup. All right, so for my makeup, it was really simple too. The only thing that was, that had like a pop of color was my bottom waterline. I put like um, a hint of purple and I had a red lip on. So yeah, that's basically, and I did a wing eye. Like the look was so simple, y'all. I didn't really do that much. But we're gonna start off with our brows. I am going to be using the NYX uh, Professional Brow Wiz Pencil, or no, the Micro Brow Pencil. This is the Precision Brow. Um, and this is in the color Espresso. And I'm just going to draw my eyebrows, basically. All right, so now that I have my brows all drawn on, I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey, just to um, clean up my brows. All right, so <clears throat> we have the brows all concealed. Now I'm just going to be taking a Sephora blending brush, concealer blending brush. It is the number 57. So if you are looking for like a blending concealer brush, definitely check out Sephora. This is exactly where I got it from. The style might be a little different because I got this a long time ago, but it is in the number 57. So, All right, so now time for foundation. I am going to be using the Maybelline Matte Poreless Foundation in the shade 335 Classic 10. And we're just gonna go ahead and do the, basically do the, the steps of um everyday face. If y'all haven't seen my everyday, perfect everyday face video, I will highly suggest going to check that out because I'm basically doing the same steps from that. Um, So this part, I'm just going to speed through because it's very simple. It's my everyday face that I do, my routine that I always do in my makeup videos. So that can get kind of boring, so. I'm going to highlight, contour, and everything. And then once we get to the eyes, that's where I'm going to start talking again. So, one moment. All right, so we finally have the face done, the basics or whatever. We haven't added the highlight, but we'll add that at the end as well. So for my eyes, I am just only going to do a wing eyeliner um, and the Eyeliner that I'm going to be using is by Clinique. This is the Pretty Easy Liquid Eyeliner Pen. I've been obsessed with this lately. I've been using this a lot. Like whatever look I do with like an eyeliner, this is the one that I'm always using. So I'm not probably not gonna talk as much because I gotta focus on 
making this wing eye y'all like wing eyes are not my best friend <laughs> uh i can't even remember how i did it i think i had like a piece of tape but i don't have any tape so i'm just going to wing it get it anyway <laughs> hopefully it turns out good because if it don't i'm gonna be kind of mad <laughs> so yeah let's see All right, so that is my wing eye, but I am gonna clean it up some. So a trick that I like to do, but I'm pretty sure anybody else does this. I'm gonna take like a really small baby concealer brush and I'm going to go in with some concealer and actually clean up the line basically, so. Sorry, my camera had cut off, but basically I used that concealer to kind of clean up the line of the eyeliner and it made it pretty precise. So that is a way that you can definitely clean up your eyeliner just to give it like that very straight cat eye look, you know? And the lashes I am going to be wearing, these are from House of Lashes. These are their, does they have the name on here? Nior Faux Mink Collection. And these are like more of a wispy style. I've been wearing these pretty much like every day. These have became my everyday lashes. <laughs> but um, they look something like this. I ended up throwing the box away. So I don't really know the exact name of these. But if you look for the New, the New York um, Faux Mink Collection, you can definitely tell like which one are these. So I'm just going to show you right here. So you can kind of get a gist of how it looks like and yeah these are the lashes that i'm going to wear all right so we got the lashes on um the lashes in the picture that i actually wore were um the ardell demi wispies but i don't have any of those so i just pretty much use some lashes that i already have and that i pretty much been wearing every day but if you are wanting to wear like the same exact lashes that i had on in the picture those are by Ardell in the style Wispies or Demi Wispies. Those were like my go-to lashes. Lashes, lashes, lashes. <laughs> For like a natural look or finish. But now I've just been so into like glam, bold lashes. So I haven't been really buying those lately. So yeah. All right, so now for the bottom waterline. Um, I'm just going to use like a purple eyeshadow. I'm gonna go inside of the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I'm pretty much just going to take this dark purple right here and smoke my bottom waterline out basically, so. But yeah, this is pretty much how I did my face for the um, photo shoot. I put on some highlighting powder that I had. Um, Cause back then I didn't really have like a lot of makeup like I do now. So I just basically use what I had. Um, so now we're going to go in with a red lipstick cause that's the final touch for this face. And then we're gonna go in and lay these edges. And then that'll be pretty much it for the whole video for my recreation of my infamous two bun picture that's been floating around everywhere. So, all right, so for my red lips, I am back then I had the um, Stila matte lipstick it was in the shade Beso. that was like my favorite red lipstick other than the mac ruby Woo because i didn't really like it like the mac ruby Woo anymore so i started um using the still a Beso. but i don't have any more of that one so i'm going to go in with the um fenty beauty um stunner lip paint the uncensored i don't know if it's if it's called stunner lip paint or if it's called uncensored because it has uncensored in bold, but then it says stunner lip paint. So I don't know. <laughs> if you know the name of it, let me know down below, but I just pretty much call it stunner lip paint. But yeah, we're gonna go in, but you can pretty much use any kind of red lipstick that you have, but you want something that's matte because that could, I had a matte lip in the picture. And this one kind of has like an orange undertone. So it may show up kind of weird on the camera, 
And that's pretty much it for the face. So now I'm going to go ahead and lay these edges down. And if you have not seen my edge tutorial, I will highly suggest going back and looking at that video because um, well, I'm pretty much only doing it simple for this video, but I still do it the same way that I did in that video where I use something sleek and go over it on top with something hard so it can just stay in place, you know, literally hold in place all day. So if you're looking for something like that, I have that video linked down below so you can check that out. But for just this video, I am only going to be using the Eco Styler Black Castor Oil and Flaxseed Oil edge control as you see i need to buy a whole nother one because this is gone <laughs> but i'm taking like an old toothbrush the same toothbrush on that video that everybody think is so disgusting but i don't care <laughs> it lays my edges down really good and we pretty much is gonna go in swoopy motions and yeah that's pretty much it guys one side always be popping a little bit more than the other side, but that's all good. I think it still turned out pretty cute. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That concludes this whole tutorial on how I did my look for my infamous two bun photo that was the face of the World Natural Show. Um, you guys, I am just pretty excited that that, um, that it did kind of happen, but in a way, I just wish it would have went down a whole nother way, you guys. Like, the story is just so crazy. Like, if you guys only knew. Like, I do want to talk about it, but I don't think I want to bring it up because it may stir up something that doesn't need to be stirred up. But just know that it was a little messy, okay? <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope um, it was easy and simple. I'm trying to get it in the camera, but I have to like lean back in my chair in order for you guys to see how it looks. But yeah, you guys, that is pretty much it for this tutorial. And like I always say, I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.